What is up everyone? jam one here. We are back again with another video that I am very excited to do. We're going to be talking about these shiny living decks. As you guys know, we've been working on this live on stream for a while. Our goal is to complete a full shiny living decks in Pokemon Home. And I figured every six months or so, you know, I do an update video just like we're not doing one every single month. So like, hey, check out these four new Pokemon like every six months. I think that's a fair estimate to where we get some good Pokemon and we kind of talk about some of the really good ones we've gotten. So a um, little bit of shorter videos, but I thought it'd be a fun one to at least get out. So we've been working on this for six months and we actually have 75 Pokemon in the shiny living decks as of now. We have been prioritizing Kanto, specifically box one going down the list. And I want to talk about some of the highlight Pokemon we've gotten. Um, we actually started off straight out the bat with a 6 IV Bulbasaur. So it's our first hunted Mon to the Living Decks. But it wasn't our first one. Our first one was actually a Fletchling in the Wild. But um, And then we just kept going with the luck. We got this one, which um, if we wanted to, you know, mint for a special or a physical one, we could. And then we got a 6 IV one right after. And then we got a perfect IV Charmeleon and the Charizard. And then a Squirtle missing defense. So we've been um, breeding, trying to see how many 6 IV starters we can get. Or just breed mons in general. And we have two 6s and then one perfect. So really good stuff. Um, we've been prioritizing box 1 like I said. So we do need still Beedrill and we need to finish the Squirtle line. We are currently hunting War Turtle and Beedrill on separate hunts. So really good stuff right there. And um, yeah, this is kind of how Kanto is looking so far. We've um, Some of the Kanto mons we've gotten. We need Nido King. We have finished the Psyduck line. We need another Diglett. We need to finish Oddish. This is one we caught in Let's Go while doing hunting. So really good stuff right there. We've completed the Slowpoke line, at least the Kanto portion. And the Seedro is actually a very funny one because we actually got this while we were... Um, it was during our Pikachu stream. So I wasn't even going for anything for the Living Deck. So we were just doing the Pikachu event. And we ended up getting a Seedro on stream. So I was like, well, we're counting this towards the Living Decks. So that was really cool stuff. Really good uh, Mon we got there. And then we can move on. Uh, Johto, we've been pretty basic on. We've got the Fan P line done. We need one more Hop It. Um, a lot of these um, that aren't Kanto are actually Pokemon we found while breeding for the Kanto starter. So we have bred these in Scarlet Violet, as you can see by the symbol. And then as we go, we find a lot of random Pokemon. So everything in here has been from Let's Go, except Kakuna. That was um, the Friend Safari in uh, XY. But besides that, these are all stuff and Oddish too. Um, but everything else is stuff we have found in Scarlet Violet um, while hunting on the side. So it really goes to show how much you can find Ariados with Friends Fari too, I guess. But besides that, um, and then we got Marie Flaffy. So we found a lot of stuff just, you know, breeding eggs. So that was really cool. Um, Hoenn is like nowhere near complete. We are going to start doing Aura Suns. These are the only two I have for Hoenn, Tropius and Altaria. Sinnoh is also on the small side of things. Like I said, um, we have been prioritizing Kanto, but while we hatch eggs, we do find a lot of stuff. We were able to find two Murkrows, and we evolved one in a Honchkrow. Um, Unova is, like, very dead, too. Um, we only have two in Unova. We have a Deerling that we found in the Wild Scarlet Violet and a Friend Safari Garboder. So I guess I should say most were found in Scarlet Violet. Uh, this was actually our latest shiny. Um, this was one of our latest shinies, at least. Um, we found, I think, Kakuna was our most recent one. But this was the one before, so I was like, oh, thank goodness, we're going to have something before the six-month mark. And then Kalos has actually been okay. Uh, Fletchling was our first one we found. We completed the whole line, just random hunting in the wild. We got Scatterbug, we got a Skidoo, and we got a Gumi. And then Alola is also looking very strong. We have both Rock, we have a Rock Ruff. We're not doing a form deck, so just one Rock Ruff. I picked the one I like more, which is the day form. Um, we have Marini, and then we have Mudbray, Mudsdale, and Pikapek. And then I'm going to talk about these guys in a second, because I do want to come back to these. But And then there's Galar, which we are going to be doing Zacian in September. We are going to be doing Zacian, which I'm very excited for. But um, this is the Galar lineup, and then Paldea is also looking pretty good. Uh, this is our Paldean lineup. Um, we found Nimble not too long ago, so that was really nice. And um, yeah, we have Wink Long. We don't have Lechonk yet. We haven't found a Wild Lechonk. But a lot of evolutions are needed. And um, then there's Gimme Gold and Goldengo. So we did get these during the raids. So I was very happy to get these. These were very stressful, time-limited shinies. So I'm very glad we got them. Obviously not the best shinies in the book. If anything, they're really bad. But um, yeah, so that's kind of uh, that's the thing with that. And then Meltan and Memo. These are our first legendary mythical Pokemon we've gotten for the living decks. Probably until Zashi and Earth I start hunting another one soon, which I probably will. And um, this Malmetal is probably the rarest thing we have in the living decks, except maybe um, Gimme Golden Gudango. The reason is it's level one. Um, We found this thing as a level one shiny Malmetal, and we evolved it, and we just sent it right up. So 
we have a level one mythical in the living deck. So it's a Meltan, a Melmetal, which is a limited time shiny. So uh, the Meltan is just level 23 ultra. We got in a Pokeball too, which is a nice little kind of niche, I feel, for it. But this is probably the rarest thing we have in the decks, except Gimme Ghoul and Goldengo. Um, I think its level really stands out, though, because, you know, limited time, reduced odds. You can only do it an hour a day for the event, and we ended up getting the level one on stream. So this was really cool. Um, it's even got the Ghost Stamp. If I were to pull it up in um, my phone, it would have the Go Mark at the top, which adds extra rarity to it. So really cool stuff. Literally can't be hacked. Impossible. So really cool thing. This is probably my favorite thing I have in the living decks. But um, I just wanted to do this update video, kind of show you guys where we're at. We are at 75 at the six month mark. So um, I'd say we're doing pretty well. Um, some goals in the next six months. I do want to complete the Kanto starters and I want to get on some extra legendary and Paldean Mon hunts and um, hopefully get some other really cool, just random stuff in the wild too. Like I said, we've done a lot of these lines. Like we've done Mareep and Flaffy we both found in the wild. Um, we completed the Fletchling line in the wild. We got Psyduck and um, Golduck. And um, yeah, so it was really good. It was really good. Um, I guess the Nidoran line too. We got both got Fan P and Dawn Fan just hunting in the wild. So, and just hatching eggs as we find stuff. So it is a really great way to um, fill up a dex. But yeah, that's going to be all for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Channel links in the description. You have Discord, Twitter, all that fun stuff. Um, if you do want to join these live streams, I do go live just about, I'd say probably roughly five days a week. Um, around 7 to 8 Eastern Standard Time um, with classes. I used to go 6 to 7, but now I'm doing about 5 to 6. So it just depends. Um, really good stuff. So I would love to see you guys on stream if you're watching. So your boy Jim signing out. Joe, links in the description. And I hope everyone has an awesome rest of your day.